Hey Gateway Church family, this is Pastor Matt here and I just wanted to take a few moments to film this video uh, to let you know about some of the things we're thinking about and planning here at Gateway in regards to the whole COVID-19 situation in Canada and really uh, across the globe. So I want to encourage you, I, I was touching base with our church council members and leaders here in the last few days and uh, just chatting about some of our the steps that we can proactively take uh, to be a part of the journey of uh, preventing the spread of this virus unnecessarily. And so I wanted just to touch base on a few things. One is to keep encouraging you, uh, like we chatted and prayed on Sunday morning, uh, that we would not give in to a spirit of fear or anxiety. That's not from the Lord. And I just believe that in every circumstance that we face, uh, and some significant and very real things that are going on around us, that the Lord has the offer for peace and confidence in our hearts so that we can respond in faith and not in fear. Uh, I, want, I think it's not a coincidence uh, that we have uh, felt led by the Lord to set aside the month of March for the March prayer challenge. And might I can encourage you to continue to set aside those 15 minutes a day to pray for our church and for our city. Uh, obviously, at now adding another level of, uh, of things that we can pray into for health and protection and safety of God's people. And so as far as where we're at as a church family, uh, our underlying principle is that we will follow the instructions of our local, provincial, and federal health authorities, uh, and we will play our part in preventing the spread uh, of COVID-19. And so beginning this Sunday, uh, there's a few adjustments that we're going to make uh, so that we can proactively be a part of that. Uh, those include these sorts of things. One is uh, in, we will gather, uh, and I know the situation is a bit fluid, so keep in touch with us on our website and our Facebook page uh, for any changes or new uh, instructions that may come out. But at our gatherings this Sunday, uh, we'll be doing a, a number of different things. One is we'll be encouraging uh, at people with the availability of hand sanitizers and hand washing stations to uh, wash our hands and uh, uh, prevent the spread of germs in that way. Uh, similarly, we're going to discourage people uh, from unnecessary physical contact, handshaking and hugs, which I know will be very hard and a big change uh, for us as a church family because we love to express our care for one another in those ways. But one of the ways that now we get to share that care and love with one another is by considering the most vulnerable among us and making some adjustments uh, to keep pe as many as possible healthy and safe. Uh, we'll also be redoubling our efforts to have a clean and sanitary environment as we gather. Uh, that includes having uh, people designated who will sanitize uh, touch points, contact points, tables, things like that, uh, before and in between our services this Sunday. And then as well, uh, we want to encourage you, we love to gather, but if you are experiencing any symptoms or feeling not well, we want to encourage you to stay home. Uh, and to make that a little bit easier, starting this Sunday at both of our service times, 9 and 11, uh, we'll provide a live stream of our services on our church YouTube channel uh, with links through our Facebook page. And so you'll be able to go online 9 and 11 o'clock, uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes before the service. It'll go live and you'll be able to participate with us uh, from home. And so I want to encourage us in this season, uh, once again, that uh, we do also have the opportunity to share the love and life of Jesus. And as we spoke last Sunday in our sermon about welcome, about radically welcoming others, you know, it's going to look different in this season, uh, but the opportunity is still there for us to reach out, to bless uh, fellow church members. Can I encourage you? Pick up the phone, call someone, encourage them. If you know of people that are unable to get out, there's a great opportunity for us to support and encourage one another with wisdom, yes, but to find those opportunities to share the love of Jesus and perhaps most significantly to speak life and in faith uh, over one another. And so can I finish off uh, this video today with Psalm 91? I know many of you are finding much comfort and encouragement in this passage. And so let me read a few verses for us uh, this afternoon. It says in Psalm 91, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. It goes on from that place, but church, can I encourage us today? Let's trust the Lord. Let's rest in the knowledge of his faithfulness, of his covering in our lives. And so I bless you in the name of Jesus. I ask God's protection and favor over us as a church body, our families, and our community. Uh, Lord, I pray you would give us continued wisdom, discernment, and diligence to be part of the solution. And in the meantime, Lord, open our eyes to opportunities to share your love uh, and your life with those around us, even in times like this. So Lord, I bless Gateway in the name of Jesus. Thanks again for watching this video. I want to encourage you to stay up to date uh, at gatewayfoursquare.ca or on Facebook. Find us at Gateway CR uh, with any, any, any new news or changes that might happen between now and Sunday. But we look forward to seeing you. God bless you. We love you and look forward to seeing you as soon as possible.